Welcome to Fantasy Hockey Thoughts, week 8, March 8th to 14th. I'm doing this late on a Sunday night on March 7th. My apologies, I had some family over on the weekend. Let's jump in uh, with briefly about some news for the past seven days, starting with the Calgary Flames. and They fired their head coach, Jeff Ward, replacing him with Daryl Sutter. Again, <laughs> he hasn't coached um, in a while, but uh, some big changes coming there. More on that later. Tom Wilson is suspended for seven games for his hit on Brandon Carlo. Um, the Canucks beat the Maple Leafs two times in a row. The Leafs haven't lost twice in regulation so far this season. Uh, and this is after Toronto just dismantled, you know, the Oilers in three games in a row. Isn't that weird? Uh, just some quick injury notes here. Not all of them, but Heinz is day-to-day -day from the Dallas Stars. Again, uh, Duchesne is out for a month with lower body injury. Uh, Shesterkin is day-to-day -day with groin. And Elias Pettersson uh, is day-to-day -day at the moment. Now, there's 53 games this week. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday are the heavy dates. Uh, Monday, there's six games. Tuesday, there's nine. Wednesday, there's five. Thursday, there's ten. Friday, there's five. Saturday, there's twelve. And Sunday, there is six. Stay away from depth ads from the Calgary Flames because they're only playing twice this week. And that's uh, Thursday and Saturday. The following teams are playing four times this week. I'm talking about Vegas, Toronto, Ottawa, New York Islanders, uh, New Jersey, Montreal, Minnesota, LA, Edmonton, Dallas, Columbus, Colorado, Arizona, and Anaheim. Some subtext there. Colorado is playing Arizona twice and LA twice. Edmonton is playing Ottawa three times and Vancouver once. And there are four teams that are... Um, one, two, three, four, five. Five teams, excuse me, that are playing four times with three off nights. So you want to circle um, these clubs on your calendar. I've already mentioned Colorado. Uh, there's also Ottawa, Arizona, L.A., and Minnesota. Not to mention, um, although the Tampa Bay Lightning are only playing three times this week, they're playing Detroit twice and Nashville once. Yep. Um, you know what to do. Uh, let's talk about who you should trade for. Um, Jacob Markstrom. It's the Sutter effect. Um, goalies love having this guy as a coach because the goals against tend to go right down. I know Markstrom has had up and down health issues, but, uh, and again, Calgary's only playing twice. But uh, think about it. Uh, Kirill Kapritsov from the Wild. The Calder is his to lose. Really, this guy hasn't slowed down. Alexander Radulov from the Dallas Stars. Um, he's coming off the IR soon. And he had 11 points um, in eight games. Buy low on the following players. Matthew Kachuk, um, who's got only two goals in his last 16 games. Mark Giordano, um, who's played for Sutter before in a different lifetime. Um, you can see his play improving too. Again, you know, keep in mind they're playing twice. Uh, Tori Krug from the St. Louis Blues. Krug? Krug. Uh, he's got four points in his last five games. This is your last chance to sort of buy low on this guy because with Tarasenko back, that power play could be looking better. Uh, sell high on Aaron Ekblad from the Florida Panthers. He's got six points in his last four games. That's unsustainable. His last game, um, which was Sunday today, he got blanked um, in the point category. And that was in a hits league. So no assists, no goals, no hits, no block shots. Nada, zip, zero. Uh, drop these players, the following players, because they've gone cold. I'm talking about Victor Olofsson, Mackenzie Blackwood. Uh, he's let in 25 goals in his last seven games for the Devils. He had such a great start, too. That's a shame until COVID kind of threw that team off amongst other teams as well. Andrew Kopp, um, Christian Dvorak, uh, ba -ba -ba, Kevin Hayes. Uh, Kyle Palmieri, he's over 50% owned. Kyler Yamamoto had a great game on Saturday, his last game, because he was thrown on the first line with McDavid, had a goal and assist, but in the four or five games before that, he was meh. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe the, the, it depends on, Oilers have been shuffling their lines so much lately. Uh, yeah, keep that in mind. Um... Corey, I was going to say Corey Hart. 
Why do I owe you? The goaltender for the Philadelphia Flyers, uh, Carter Hart. I have him, and I, I'm this close to dropping him. I'm, he's got to rebound at some point, right? But it's just, yeah. Uh, anywho, um, let's talk about um, some players who you should scoop up. Uh, let's start with the goaltenders. Uh, beginning with Thatcher Demko from the Vancouver Canucks. He's now 4-3-1 with a 9-3-6 save percentage. Ladies and gentlemen, he's getting back into his playoff form. Uh, Alexander Georgiev, because Shostorkin is day-to-day -day at the moment, but Georgiev didn't exactly have the greatest games on Sunday. Um, he got pulled. Uh, yeah, so tread waters carefully there. Peke Rene um, has been playing more because Saros has been injured. I know maybe you don't want to go even go near Nashville, but they did win their last game. Um, Brian Elliott. Hey, he's been better than Carter Hart lately. Ilya Sorokin um, has been looking good of late. He did play a couple times against Buffalo, though. Uh, but at this point in time, I would think that Trotz would start to play him more and more, making it more of a 50-50 split with him and Varlamov. Um, the Carolina goalie, Alex Nedeljevic. Maybe just a flyer on him because Morazic should be back soon. Um, and then here's my here's the crazy uh, thought: uh, Jonathan Bernier. Um, put him on your watch list. He, last couple games, game or two, maybe he hasn't been terrific, but he sees a lot of rubber, lots of rubber, rubber, not wubba. Uh, and then there is uh, an interesting um, goaltender from San Jose who's. Only played in relief for part of a game, um, but hasn't played a full game yet. And is he's their AHL guy, and Alexi Melchinyuk, Melchin, Mel, 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 Melnichuk. Put him on your watch list with with Dubinik and uh, Jones, kind of pooping the bed there. Um, maybe we'll start. Maybe they'll give him a shot. So there's that. A defenseman. Let's talk about them. Um, Take a flyer out on Nick Letty and Oliver uh, Wallstrom. Um, then there's Matthias Ekholm. Um, he's been good since he came back from injury, except the last couple games, maybe not so much. But keep an eye on him. Adam Boakvist is very up and down. Um, take a flyer on him though, because he's you know on that second pairing and on the first uh, power play for Chicago. Uh, Jonas Brodin from the Minnesota Wild is steady Freddy with points across the board. Radko Gudis uh, leads the league in hits. He's always a good pickup, as is Mackenzie Weger from the same team. And then there's Rasmus Anderson, whose um, numbers might improve with, uh, with Sutter behind the bench as well. Uh, speaking of Sutter, let's move on to the forwards now. And I got a plethora of... Um, Flames for you here. Again, they're only playing twice, but these are depth ads. You may want to add, you know, um, jump aboard last minute on Thursday or Saturday. And I'm talking about uh, Sam Bennett, Dylan Dubé, Josh Levo, and Andrew uh, Maggiabane. Um, put them all on your watch list. Alex Lafreniere has had six points in his last seven games, folks. Uh, he's coming into form. Alex Tuck has had eight goals in his last six games uh, for the Knights. TJ Oshie should be getting uh, more playing time um, now that Tom Wilson has been suspended for the next seven games. Richard Raquel from the Anaheim Ducks. He's got nine points in his last five games, and that's no fluke because he's uh, like 17th in the league or something and expected goals for. Uh, a couple of Ottawa Senators for you here and Drake Batherson and Tim Stutzel. Although they've been kind of meh the last couple of games, um, the nine or ten previous, they were looking really good. Uh, they played together on that third line and on the first power play unit. Um, Martin Nechas from the Hurricanes. He's got seven points in his last four games. He's really turning into a good player, as is Maxim uh, Comtois. Um, Max Jones, also from the Anaheim Ducks. Put him on your watch list. He, he's day-to-day -day now with an injury. But um, this guy could explode at any time. Maybe. Uh, Chandler Stevenson, also from the Knights. Um, he's been hot lately, as has been Jordan Greenway of the uh, Minnesota Wild. 
Don't forget this guy. He's been putting up points and he hits and block shots too. Big boy. There you have it. I would love to hear from you down in the comment section below. Uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Don't forget you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. That's the German Twitter. Please be kind to each other out, the, uh, out there in this crazy world we're living in right now. And I'll see you soon.